Well, we've got just two days and a little bit as we kick off the hog season here in Little Rock. And with so many people coming to town for the game, it's best to get ready now. War Memorial can hold just under 55,000 people and many may just can't come out to the tailgate. And with that many people all converging on one spot, we know one thing, there's going to be traffic. THV 11's Ian Russell joins us live from War Memorial with some reminders from stadium officials. Ian? Yeah, well, Roly Faith, let's just be honest with ourselves. It is going to be absolutely jam packed here this weekend, especially with that game time moved up a couple hours so people can get out and beat the heat, maybe tailgate a little early. It's going to be busy out here, just to be very honest with you. People are definitely going to be expecting that. So there's a really simple and easy reminder here from stadium management. You need to know a couple things. One, know where you need to go and where you need to be before you ever even get here this weekend. It's a long road to Little Rock. And near War Memorial Stadium this weekend, it's a busy one as well. It can be quite hectic during, um, you know, rush hour or during a, a high traffic volume time getting close to the game. With the Hogs set to take the field, thousands filling these stands. Planning for this is no small feat. It, it can be challenging. That's where John Latch comes in. The War Memorial Stadium manager knows this stadium poses its own set of challenges. From how fans get in and out and everything in between, there's a lot that goes into how this Saturday will go but they've already had practice doing this just a week ago. You know, we treated the salt bowl like a mini Razorback game. They're not the only ones relying on experience to make things go smoothly. So are state police. Yeah, there, there'll be a lot of traffic. And again, they have a plan for you know, one-way traffic coming in. Captain Scott Russell is the commander for Troop L in Northwest Arkansas. His troopers are normally focused on keeping Coach Sam Pittman and the players safe, but traffic is a major obstacle in Fayetteville. And he says that'll be a challenge here as well. If you're not going to the game, stay away from over there. And then you don't run into the, you know, what well, can I go this way? Do I need to go that way? Or you're stopped for 20 minutes waiting across the street. Back at War Memorial, Latch knows they've got their work cut out for them, balancing thousands of fans with hospitals and neighborhoods right next door. GAMS and St. Vincent, so we still have to cater to those employees who need to get to work. So to make sure your weekend with the Hogs goes over smoothly, the recommendation is simple. Pay attention and know where to go before you leave. Kickoff has been moved up to 12 o'clock, so make sure you get here early. Um, allow you plenty of time on the golf course to tailgate and, and have a good time. We're really excited. And we'll learn a little more information over the next coming days as we get closer to kickoff on Saturday. But if you're looking for things like parking maps and stadium information, the basics, things like that, I've got that over on THP11.com for you right now. We're live at War Memorial Stadium tonight. Ian Russell, THP11 News. All right, Ian, thank you again. We want to remind you, kickoff is Saturday at noon. And if you're not coming to the game, you can still catch all the action at War Memorial on ESPN+.